Hey guys and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware. This is an NVMe drive enclosure with an NVMe SSD on the inside. And uh, it's my new Steam library to be used on my test bench as well as other PCs that I'm setting up and trying to benchmark, uh, which is why I needed it to be this very small and mobile form factor. But since I have this thing set up now and it's ready to go, I figured I might as well test it up against some of the other arrays and configurations that I've been using for my storage to see just what kind of performance you can get out of this exact configuration though as we get into this it is worth noting your mileage will vary depending on what SSD you throw in this thing as well as what drive enclosure you're using uh, in and of itself so uh, my results are my results but your results may vary but before we get into talking about the NVMe drive let's make mention of the fact that I'm still giving away this Ryzen 5 3600X the entry link is in the description down below So before we hop into the actual speed tests and the charts here, I just want to sort of talk a little bit about why you might want to throw an NVMe drive into an external enclosure. Uh, the big things here are this. You may need a lot of storage that you need to be high speed and it needs to be very mobile, in which case this is a very, very great option because this can easily be thrown into a backpack. It's an all metal construction. You're not gonna hurt the SSD on the inside of it. The enclosure itself comes with two cables. It comes with a type C to a type C cable as well as a type C to type A. So out of the box, this drive enclosure is pretty much compatible with every consumer based PC on the market right now. And the mobility function of this drive is actually really the biggest part of it. For me, it's just plugging into a bunch of different desktop computers all over the place that I have here, whether it be a test bench or PC that I put together so that I can sell, but I need to benchmark it first. For that purpose, having a Steam library on an external drive is just much easier for me to plug into the computer and then all my Steam games are just there. Now, another use case that I could totally see is somebody that has access to different desktop computers throughout their day, maybe in a college setting where they're using computer labs, but you can't necessarily install your games on one PC and you need to take it with you. And then the third use case that I can sort of see is somebody that has a gaming desktop and then a gaming laptop that you're constantly on the go with and you don't necessarily want to take up a lot of storage on both your different devices independently with your Steam library, in which case maybe throwing an SSD in something like this is a really great option to get your Steam library in one place where all the updates are being sent to the same location so the games stay updated across both devices and it's just easy to plug and play and you're good to go. So there are several use cases for these. I don't know that any of them are really the financially best way of doing things. In fact, if you just want storage on the go, it's probably financially a little bit better just to get a two and a half inch drive enclosure paired with a SATA based SSD because it will save you a little bit of money and you'll still get most of the performance out of the SATA based SSD. But regardless, I have an external NVMe enclosure with an NVMe drive. Let's go ahead and take a look at the read and write charts. Obviously, the NVMe drive over M.2 is going to be and was always going to be the fastest storage solution on the chart, which just blows out every other storage solution. And then it gets a little bit interesting with the RAID 0 volume that's putting two SATA based SSDs in a striped configuration where there is no redundancy. So if one drive fails, you lose all your data. But this is actually a really great option for a Steam library because SATA drives don't really get cheaper as you get larger capacities. So instead of getting a one terabyte drive, for instance, you can get two 480 gigabyte drives and just stripe them together. You'll get better performance out of them. And because your save games are already being stored in the cloud, even if the volume dies, your save games are just fine. All you have to do is replace the drive, restripe the volume together, and then re-download your games. Your save games though, being in the cloud are good to go. And where this testing really gets more relevant to our purpose today is comparing the SATA based SSD internally versus the external NVMe drive where the numbers are actually very competitive between the two. Now, fully understand that the NVMe enclosure is not the cheapest way to get extremely fast storage over USB, but is a really good option, especially as NVMe costs and NVMe drive enclosure costs have come down over the last year and especially over the last six months as we've had several newer models being introduced and hitting the market that are sort of more geared to the lower end market and for the uh, price savvy amongst us. So whether going with an NVMe drive and an external enclosure is for you or not, that's totally up to you. But I will leave links to all the drives and all the hardware like this enclosure that I used 
in the description down below. But I wanna know your thoughts, especially for those of you that do use external enclosures on a regular basis. Is this something that you either use or at least would consider? Let me know your thoughts down below. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are helpful to the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.